Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we will be unboxing the iPhone 13 Pro and I'm so excited because there has been a lot of hype over this camera and I shoot like 90% of my footages with my iPhone. So let's unbox and test it out. I was obsessed when they announced the Sierra blue color, so of course that's the color I ended up choosing, but I was worried that I might get tired of it since it didn't sound necessarily neutral, but I've had it for a month now and it is so so pretty. The blue is like an icy grey blue that looks so nice that I even painted my nails a similar color. Apple's packaging per usual is very user friendly and you just have to remove a couple things and the box pops right open. Then the first thing you'll see is that beautiful Sierra blue phone, which by the way, if you've been on the fence about what color to get, this is your sign to go for the Sierra. The phone feels super sturdy and luxurious in your hands and I actually really like the return of the straight edges, which you'll notice if you're coming from an older model with the round edges. The phone comes with a USB-C to lightning cable, but no charging cube which is a downer and I don't know anyone who even owns one. But luckily, if you've owned iPhones in the past, you probably have the charging block with the old cable which is perfectly fine. Then the box also includes a sticker, a SIM popper, and an Apple info card. When you turn on the phone, I straight away noticed how much more HD the screen was compared to my last phone, and also the Face ID notch at the top is a little smaller. Upgrading from the iPhone XR to the 13 Pro was super worth it in my opinion. The Pro feels really solid in your hands and basically every feature like the screen refresh rate, speed, and camera have all upgraded so much. It actually took me a few days to get used to how much clearer and crisper the 13 Pro screen was. I ordered a screen protector and a couple of cases so I could protect this expensive investment right away. The first case was this solid blue case that is pretty similar in color to the Sierra Blue. It felt really good in the hands and provided a lot of protection. Then I tried on the next case, which was a clear case with some astrological star designs, and it was a little hard to put on and off, but I really liked the clear one to showcase the phone's color, so I ended up using that one as my first case. Links are in the bio if you're interested in buying the same ones. So the hype over the iPhone 13 Pro camera is real. I absolutely love the quality of this camera. It did really well shooting low light and nighttime situations. You can see the Christmas lights in these scenes look so clear and so crisp and might have even looked better on the iPhone than in real life. I was also super impressed with the quality of photos. They really captured the color and clarity of the scenery. I honestly think the iPhone takes as good or even better pictures than my DSLR. So I own a beginner level DSLR with a small selection of lenses and I feel like I could replace all of that with the iPhone, which is amazing. Stabilization is pretty decent and you'll get a little shakiness if you're shooting and walking fast, but I'm sure buying a gimbal or some sort of external stabilization equipment would fix that issue. I also tried out the new iPhone cinematic feature, which was kind of hard to get used to because it kept focusing and unfocusing at the wrong time, so definitely gonna keep exploring that functionality. Front camera quality is pretty good and has a good zoomed out frame width for selfies and vlogging. I am also obsessed with finally having the 0.5 super wide lens, which works really well in both video and photo mode. So yeah, check out the rest of the clips I took to test out the iPhone 13 Pro camera. Overall, I am super happy with the functionality of the entire phone and I highly recommend getting the iPhone 13 Pro if you're looking for an upgrade. <laughs> 